and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you guys are new for today's video it's obviously a very very exciting video because today's video is going to be my freelance makeup artist kit video that you guys have been wanting for the year 2021 i know many of you already know this but i do have a freelance makeup artist kit video on my channel currently but i filmed that last year in may so it almost has been an entire year now and my kit has drastically changed from that kit video that video was also extremely awkward too because that was when I first started out my YouTube channel and I was super awkward talking to the camera. Not like I'm not now, but it just was very, very cringy to watch as a video for 23 minutes. I probably will do an updated kit video every single year because obviously being a makeup artist, things do change pretty drastically over the years. I will also be providing links for most everything that are like containers or anything in this video because I know I had a ton of questions in my last video. If you guys have any other questions, definitely let me know in the comments down below anyways let's go ahead and dive right into it okay guys so this is my makeup kit that i have right here you guys have probably seen it in previous videos it's by the brand relevel i think that's how you pronounce it not really 100 percent sure <laughs> um but this is my overall just main set bag that I carry with me. I also wanted to mention that I am primarily a bridal makeup artist, so my kit is specifically targeted toward brides. Nothing like super crazy, funky colors or anything, because the majority of the time I usually stick with pretty natural looks. Also, I did want to mention that this is a camping chair here. It usually supports about 300 pounds, and I bring this with me on almost every single one of my weddings that I do. I usually only bring it when I have about four or more people, because I don't like bending down for long amounts of time, and my back really hurts after a while if people aren't sitting eye level to me, so I usually like to bring this camping chair with me. Let's go ahead and dive right in. I will go ahead and start with the top section first. This is basically just a two zipper pouch right here, so you have this top section and then this one also zips open at the bottom here. This whole entire thing actually lifts up right here, so you do have a really sturdy handle to be able to carry it. And then if you wanted to, you could actually transform this into a backpack. I just recently figured this out. So it does have a strap that's right here on the side and you can somehow string the strap through here and then it connects with these little hooks on the side here and then you can kind of transform it into like a triangle shape. So then your two straps right here would just basically sit on your back and perform like a backpack does. I haven't tried it that way before because I have a feeling it's going to be kind of heavy for that. So I just usually have like the shoulder straps right here and then this all adjusts right here. You can make it longer or shorter if you need to. Let's go ahead and get started with this first section. I have seen varieties of this makeup bag before where there's different things on the top sections, but mine just have these three pouches. They're just like a overall stretchy kind of elastic material here. So you can fit a whole bunch of stuff in here if you wanted to. All I keep in mind is little tools in the front pouch. Um, so first of all, this is like my really busted Urban Decay double barrel sharpener. So basically this is just my pencil sharpener here. I need to get a new one though, because I think the blade's getting kind of dull on this. I swear I've had this thing for like 10 years or so. It's actually kind of embarrassing. <laughs> then I also usually bring a tied to go pen. Having a tied to go pen is really handy because just in case something happens or you spill something, then you want to make sure that you have something to clean it up really carefully. Then I also, of course, bring a pen. This is usually handy if people obviously need it, you know, for any reason, but I also bring it with me whenever I do bridal trials so the brides can sign contracts and everything, or if I need to change the contracts, then I have a pen. I also bring a Sharpie. This is mostly for when I give people their little bridal touch-up kits and I need to label the sample jars, then I will use a Sharpie to label those. Sharpies also just randomly come in handy for different things too. Then these are new additions kind of to my kit. So I have these little guys. So these are two eyebrow razors and I basically just use these to trim up any sort of stray hairs on my bride's face or anything or like any other clients. I don't use them super often because I am still kind of getting the hang of it. And yeah, I just want to make sure that I don't cut anybody if <laughs> anything weird happens. Then I keep stuff in here. So um, obviously we are working with a bunch of females usually. So I do like to bring a bunch of tampons with me. You just never know what situation you're going to get into. So I like to be extra prepared. Then I also carry some oil blotting sheets with me as well. These are just the CVS brand. You can get any brand of oil blotting sheets that you want to and they're pretty inexpensive. I just like having these just in case I need to do touch-ups or in case I need to add these to people's bridal touch-up kits. 
Then I also bring um, little icebreaker mints here too, although I haven't used these in a really long time because honestly wearing face masks has hugely saved me from having like bad breath or anything because usually you can't smell anything through the face masks. <laughs> so I usually bring these just in case. Then I have these guys over here. I just have a couple of things in this pouch. I do actually bring a first aid kit with me here. It has just a bunch of like random stuff inside of it. This one is actually one I think I got from Target maybe. It was in their travel section. Just comes with a couple of different band-aids, uh, gauze pads, alcohol wipes, things like that. And then I also have a little travel size thing of Tylenol just in case anybody needs it. Then this one is a little battery pack holder. Like I got it when I bought some batteries. I think it was like the battery for my camera maybe or something, but it came in this little container and I thought it was perfect to carry my credit card reader. This is actually one of the square readers. It's just something that comes standard and just plugs into the side of your phone where you charge it usually. And then you can take credit card payments this way. Then the last thing I have inside of that top pocket is obviously a face mask. You always want to carry that with you. I do make sure I bring a couple of towels with me. You always want to make sure you bring black towels as opposed to any other color really because you can't see a lot of the makeup in case you get stains and everything. I bring a bigger towel here to basically put over my workstation to make sure that I don't dirty up anybody's tables. If I'm working at people's houses, um, you just want to lay this down first and then all your kit goes on top of it. And then I also do bring a little washcloth here, also black towel too. And this is to clean brushes. I don't really tend to spot clean very many brushes anymore because I do carry them in separate pouches now. And if you guys haven't seen my pouch organization video with my brushes and everything, then I will be linking that in the description bar down below as well. Or maybe in the cards up here, I'm not really sure. But I do have a whole entire video going over my bridal touch-up kits. And then I also do have a lot going over my um, organization of like how I store brushes and everything for COVID. So I won't be covering that in this video. Then after that, um, I have a little mesh bag right over here. Not super exciting, but I put all my dirty brushes in these. Then I have this guy right here, and this has more of my everyday kind of things. I have this in a little mini Zuka pouch. I have two different makeup palettes inside of here. If you guys don't already carry around any sort of palettes, for depotting and scooping out products, definitely make sure that you have some. I carry one that's my original metal mixing palette here. I got this on Amazon along with my spatula. And then this one is actually a clear one from the Artist Kit Company. I do actually really like the fact that this one's clear. It just helps you see color a little bit better. So you can actually put like swatches on here, for instance, for foundation, and then just hold it up to people's skin so you can see an accurate color range. Then I also carry a couple of little cotton rounds here. These are what I use for my cellar water or just to clean up any mistakes. I usually like to clean and prep people's face with cotton rounds. I also do carry these crocodile clips in here. These are only what I use if I'm styling people's hair. Otherwise, they do dent hair really badly. So you don't want to be using these on brides, especially if their hair is already done. But if I'm the one styling the hair, then I usually use these. Then these are the ones I use for just makeup. So these are called butterfly clips. I've talked about these multiple different times before, but they basically just scoot right in your hair here and they don't dent the hair whatsoever. So I bring like maybe four to six of these depending on how many people I'm doing. Then I do keep these dog poo bags right here and I will show you what I do with those after I'm done with like all the kit video. But basically I use these for mini trash bags <laughs> and they fit perfectly in this one brush container that I have. Then I also bring this other little mixing palette from the Artist Kit Company. Again, it's just a plastic acrylic container so it does clean off really, really easily. I put all my liquids into here just so they don't get all over my palette and slide all over the place. This is very handy to have. I just added that not too long ago. I just like keeping everything that needs to stay sanitary inside of a closed pouch, just so no dirt or debris can get inside of it. Then most important thing is I bring a makeup setting spray. This is the Bridal Makeup Setting Spray by Scandinavia. They are the same company that does Urban Decay setting sprays. This is basically really similar to the All Nighter Spray by Urban Decay. They're pretty much the same thing, but it's just an overall good setting spray to have. Then this one is actually a little tissue container. It's the Perfect Fit Facial Tissues by just the brand Kleenex. I get these at Target normally. I know you can get them at other places. They come in a four pack, I believe. They honestly are kind of expensive for tissues, but I do like them because they're so compact. You can just set them right here on your station, just pull it up and they're very nice and they don't take up a lot of space. Then these are all my disposables. Um, so basically I just carry them in this fishing tackle box. I know I've gotten a ton of questions before about what containers these are, but they are actually supposed to be meant for fishing lures. But 
I like keeping disposables in these. I did try switching them out in my last kit reorganization video and did those Dollar Tree containers, but those ended up not working really ideally for me. So I ended up switching them back to these original containers because there's really nothing else like them. So these guys here are eyeliner applicators. I don't actually use these for eyeliner though, but I actually use these to retouch lashes if for some odd reason lashes lift. Obviously, once the lashes are on somebody's eyes, then you don't want to go back in with the original applicator that's in the lash glue. So you have to use disposables to be able to touch up any lash glue. So that's what I actually use these guys for. But again, they are actually supposed to be eyeliner applicators. Then obviously these are mascara applicators. I do have um, regular ones here. I like using the ones that are pink instead of black because then you can actually see if you get any mascara on the bristles. Then I also do carry these little mini guys here. I either use these for brows or also these are perfect for lower lash mascara as well if people have really sparse lower lashes. I do need to refill those because that's like literally the only one I have left. <laughs> Then I obviously have Q-tips in case I need to clean up any mistakes or if there's any fallout underneath the eyes. Then I have these little doe foot applicators, really good for lip glosses. I don't use these super often, but I do include these in my bridal touch-up kits because they're really nice for brides and bridesmaids to touch up their lips throughout the day. Then I do have these giant wedge sponges. I've gotten a ton of questions over these as well. These are actually from the brand Alcone. They do get literally twice the size of this, so they're really nice for disposable sponges. They're not just like the flimsy disposables. Then the only thing that I have left in here is this mirror. This is what the mirror looks like, but basically this mirror actually came in a pouch um, that's underneath this whole thing. You'll see where it went originally. I decided to fit it right here because if you fit it in the original spot where it was supposed to go, the whole entire thing doesn't close. You kind of have to make sure that you don't stuff too many things in this pouch down here because otherwise everything won't shut all the way, if that makes sense. All right, now I am moving into the bottom section here. Okay, I'm going to start with this top section here just to kind of get it out of the way. So as you can tell, this is actually where that huge mirror sat. You can literally unzip it right here. It just slides in right here. There's no covering or anything right here. The mirror just sat here. And then um, this flips over here. You can stick something right here if you wanted to. I used to carry this huge palette right here, but... All this kind of got really bulky, and again, if you stick too many things in this pocket, this whole entire thing won't close down because all the products kind of start getting in the way. First off, I do carry a bunch of foundation brushes here. These are the only brushes that don't fit in my brush belt currently, so I do keep those on hand right here. Um, these are all the Pro Face foundation brushes from Amazon. They're fantastic brushes. They just look like this. And they're super, super soft and fluffy and everything. And I have had zero issues with trying to keep them clean and everything. And my clients really like them a lot too. I just basically overall switched to brushes for foundation instead of sponges. I used to use the original Beauty Blenders, as you guys might have seen in my previous video. But as you guys may have known by now, um, reusable sponges are not supposed to be reusable. They're usually meant to be a one-time use, then you're supposed to throw them away because you can't actually clean sponges really well since they absorb product and everything and a bunch of stuff just sticks in the middle and you can't clean them very well. So if you guys are going to use sponges on clients, make sure they're like the disposable sponges, like the Alcone sponges that I have. But if you guys really want to use beauty blenders, just note that you're almost going to have to buy them for your clients and then just give them to them afterwards, which is obviously like $20 that you're just throwing out the window. So you might as well use brushes or you can use wedges. Then I also keep two mascaras up here. Um, I'm not really super concerned with the type of mascara that I get for people because the majority of the time I'm just putting on false lashes on people. So I have this one here. I have the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara here. And then that one is just my regular mascara. It's not waterproof or anything. And then this one is my waterproof mascara. This is the um, Get Big Volume Boost Lashes from Essence. These are the only things right here that are honestly pretty random because they don't fit down in my other pouch. <laughs> um, these are concealers. I, again, try to fit them in the bottom container and they're so tall that they won't fit in there. So these are my Charlotte Tilbury Magical Way Concealers. Um, honestly, I bought these with the every intention of them being super, super amazing. They do provide really good coverage, but I feel like they're kind of cakey on people. Um, I just honestly wish they would have performed a little bit better and maybe it's because I can't actually use the tip applicator on them and maybe that's the reason they're not going on nicely. I think I just need to work with them a little bit longer but I do have them in four different shades. I have the shade 7 medium, 5 medium, 3 fair, and 1 fair. Those are the four colors that I have. 
And again, I don't really know how I feel about these. I really, really wanted to love them, but like, look, I've only used this one maybe three times and it almost looks like it's almost halfway through. And the really bad thing about these is that they literally have the most annoying applicators. They kind of have those annoying applicators like the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind concealers do, and they're so inconvenient, especially for makeup artists when you have to depot them and try to be sanitary with them. So yeah, I would not really recommend these, honestly. I love Charlotte Tilbury, but they probably could have done a little bit better with those, to be totally honest. So if you guys are looking for concealers, I probably honestly would skip these. I do have other concealers that I really like in my kit a lot. Um, yeah, so that brings me down to this bottom section. Hopefully you guys can see this okay. Um, I know the light kind of was weird before in the first half so hopefully this is okay now but I wanted to mention that I basically organized this in the same order that I kind of do makeup in and I have them based by categories so this is all my skincare stuff right here then I have lips right here I obviously have all my foundations and face products over here some powders are over here then um, I have like contours and lashes over here then um, foundation powder and then this is eyes right here so I kind of do have them based in categories, although it kind of does look like a hot mess all over the place. I'm going to start over here and then kind of just work left to right, I think. So this is all my skincare stuff. I first of all carry this Clinique eye makeup remover. I use this with a Q-tip to clean out any fallout underneath people's eyes, or if I just make a mistake that I need to clean up, I will use this. It's very good at removing waterproof makeup, by the way. So if you guys need a really good travel size one, that guy is really, really nice. Then I do bring a little spray bottle of water right here. This is really handy for my lip scrubs, or I also use this to wet sponges if I don't have a sink nearby. Water also can be used with a little mascara disposable and tame flyaways as well, so that's also really good if you do hair. Obviously, having hand sanitizer is very essential, especially nowadays, so I do make sure to carry a really moisturizing hand sanitizer, because if you do hand sanitizer back to back to back, your hands can get quite dried out, so I want to make sure I bring a very hydrating one. Then this is my makeup brush cleaner. This is the Cinema Secrets one. I just depotted it into this other spray container. And yeah, again, I don't spot clean my brushes super often because I do actually convert all of my brushes into individual pouches now for each person. So I don't really tend to spot clean that often, but I do wanna make sure I have some just in case. Then this is my alcohol bottle right here. So I just have this in another spray container. Um, this is actually 70% alcohol. You do wanna make sure that you bring 70% exactly. And this is isopropyl alcohol. You wanna make sure that you carry 70 because if you carry anything higher than that, then it evaporates too quickly to sanitize any products. And then if you carry anything less than 70%, then it won't sanitize it enough to really do anything. Make sure you have 70% and that is the happy medium. Next, um, this is my micellar water here. This is the Bioderma micellar cleansing water, and I just carry this in a little container as well, just because the other container that it comes in is kind of bulky, so I decided to carry this. I usually prep all my clients' faces with this before I start any makeup, by the way. Then this is a little travel pack of the Simple Eye Makeup Remover wipes right here. This is really good at just cleansing people's faces. If they have like any traces of waterproof makeup on, it just gets it off really quickly in case I don't have time to go in with Q-tips. Next, I carry the Mario Badescu Lip Balm right here. This is basically the original one. Um, it doesn't have like any sort of scent or anything to it, and it does hydrate the lips super, super well. So I use this after I do lip scrubs. And speaking of which, I do have a lip scrub in here. So this is the MAC lip scrub right here. This is the brown sugar lip scrub. I believe they discontinued this specific one, but I do also highly recommend the vanilla one as well. Then I usually use water and a tissue to get it off from people and then put the lip balm on right afterwards. Then the other prep step that I do for people is usually go in with eye cream. So this one's actually a little sample that I got from Sephora. It's the Origin Ginseng eye cream here. And this actually has a little bit of illuminating properties it's really hydrating. I actually like it a lot. So in case you guys are looking for really good eye cream, I usually use this. I did have the Bobbi Brown one, but I felt like that one was a little bit too emollient and it was a little bit thick for my clients. So I really actually do like this one. It's very lightweight. Then for um, moisturizer, I carry around the water gel here. This is actually the Saturday Skin Glacier Water Cream. And I got it in a boxy charm, but I do depot it into these little containers here just so it's a little more travel friendly. Then I also do have a few primers in here. I have three different ones. Wait, no, four different ones. Just kidding. 
<laughs> um, yeah, so I put them all in these little dropper containers. I got these off of Amazon as well. So this is the MAC Matte Gel. This one is really handy to have. It's really silicone based, kind of slippery when you put it on the skin, but it does mattify people a lot if they have super oily skin. This one is also a mattifying one as well. I don't know why I honestly carry both. Um, and I do like the Benefit Matte Rescue Gel a little bit better because it isn't so silicone based. This one is a pure gel and it does dry down, mattifies the face really well. Then this one is the Tatcha Liquid Self Canvas. This one is really, really nice. Then I also carry this one. This is actually the one I use the majority of the time on people. It's really good for all skin types. It's the Vitamin Enriched Face Base by Bobbi Brown. And this one basically has a really, really nice smell to it. It almost kind of smells citrusy. And it just kind of gives the skin a really, really nice, like, luminous glow. But it also doesn't give a really oily appearance either. I really like that one a lot. Then I do have this as well. Um, this is my Mario Badescu facial spray here. This is the cucumber and aloe one. I don't like the rose water one because I'm not a super big fan of rose smells. So I like the cucumber one. It also has a more fresh scent to it. I usually prep people with this if they're super dry or if I'm doing the luxury bridal facial on people. Then I also like to carry my Inglot Duraline. This guy is really, really handy. I don't know if you guys can see this really well. <laughs> but this is the Inglot Duraline. It's basically really handy to revitalize cream products. You just add a couple of drops of this in products, and then it basically just um, rejuvenates any of your cream products in case they start drying out on you. So you definitely want to make sure you have Inglot Duraline in your arsenal if you guys do not already. Then I didn't have anywhere else to put this because um, it was just kind of bulky. I do carry the view set containers here and I have a whole bunch of like hair ties and bobby pins and everything in this one just in case the hairstylist leaves um, and for like a wedding or something and you don't have anything else to do and the girls are freaking out then you have backups just in case they need it. Moving down here, I know I'm going super out of order but I just want to kind of go up and down these rows if I can. So next is all these lip products right here. I keep these in these pencil cases. I got these off of Amazon. So I have a whole bunch of different products in here. Most of these are lip liners. I'm not even going to go through all of these because they're a lot. <laughs> I do like these guys a lot. These are actually the Velvet Lip Glides by NARS. I have it in the shade um, Roseland and Stripped. Those are the two colors that I carry in those. And then you always want to make sure that you carry a clear lip gloss of some sort. This one's my MAC lip gloss. And just a tip for you guys, I know you guys have heard me say this in multiple different videos, but you do not need a whole bunch of different lip glosses to carry around. I literally just carry around this clear lip gloss and these two guys. But to be totally honest, I don't even need these really. Um, you can just basically mix in any sort of lipstick with a clear gloss and it makes it glossy. So yeah, if you guys are trying to find ways to save space in your kit, don't carry a bunch of lip glosses around. Just carry a clear one and mix it. These guys are a little bit more random. These are the Artist Kit Company palettes. I carry around two of these guys as far as like random products go. So these are the nude lipsticks, obviously. They just come in little travel size palettes here and these are all my lipstick shades. I do label them individually with a label maker. Then I also label them on the top here as well. And then I also label it on the side just in case, depending on what side I'm putting this on. Just so I can like read it really easily so I don't have any questions of what I'm grabbing. Then this one's kind of honestly like a hodgepodge of things and I kind of need to organize this a little bit better. So I have these two rows right here. These are my bold lipsticks. And then this is actually my gel liner right here. It's the Inglot gel liner. I have another gel liner right here. Then these three are the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomades. And I have two cream blushes that are Stila blushes right here. And those all stick right here. I do have more Artist Kit Company palettes. I do have four of them all together. These are all foundations. I carry these Makeup Forever Stick foundations in here. And then I carry my RCMA VK11 foundation palette right in here. Then I also labeled those as well. And yeah, if you guys want to see me depot these and everything, I do actually have a whole entire video of me just depotting everything into these containers. Then again, we have more pencil holders here. So I have concealers in here and then other face products. The only drugstore products that I carry besides mascaras in my kit are these guys because they're so, so good. These are the LA Girl Pro Concealers. I have the green, dark peach, and light peach color correctors in here. And then these guys are technically marketed as foundations, but these are the Hollywood Flawless Filter Foundations by Charlotte Tilbury. I just depotted them into these little containers from Amazon. And I have these shades Medium 4 and Light 1. Those are the only two shades I have. I do not usually do super dark skin tones. So I usually only have about 
like a light to tan range of colors, but I do have enough just in case I do have darker skin tones. But just to let you guys know, that's not usually the range of clientele that I work on. I have the Charlotte Tilbury foundations in here. These are the Airbrush Flawless Finish foundations right here. And then I did label those as well, although I ran out of labels for this one right here, so that's why it's handwritten. <laughs> um, yeah, so I have the shades 5.5 Neutral, 7 Neutral, and 3 Neutral. Those are a full coverage matte foundation, and I use those for any oily skin people. Then I also have the NYX or NYX Olive Mixture. This just looks like this. I believe this one is discontinued, but Face Atelier does have an olive mixer as well. So in case I run out of that guy, I am probably going to switch to the other one. Then in this one here, I do have a bunch of concealers. I do have a random LA Girl Pro concealer in here. This one's in the shade Beautiful Bronze. I use this for a cream contour if I ever feel like it. These guys are all my NARS Natural Radiant Creamy Concealers. These are in the travel size versions. I did a haul over these not too long ago. And I have these shades Chantilly Light 1, then I have Dark 3, Amandi, and then I have Medium 1 Custard and Light 2 Vanilla. And I do keep these upside down because I want to be able to read them really easily. And then all of these in these little containers here are the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundations by NARS. I did haul these before too. So I do have the shades Dark 5 Zambi, Medium 2 Santa Fe, Light 2 Mont Blanc, Medium Dark Tahoe, and then I also have Medium 3.5 Vanatu. I think that's how you pronounce it. And yeah, I have all of those for foundation, so I kind of just have like a whole NARS thing going on here. And then these are all my Too Faced Born This Way multi-use concealers. Then I do have these shades, uh, Mocha, Cloud, Snow, Nude, Porcelain, Golden, Toffee, and Sand. Moving up to this section right here, this is all my eye stuff. These are all my makeup palettes that I carry with me. Literally all these are eyeshadows. I used to keep that huge Makeup Forever tin with a whole bunch of eyeshadows inside of it, but that one honestly got pretty cumbersome to carry around, so now it kind of is just back stock. So I did transfer all my eyeshadows, pretty much all the loose single eyeshadows, into these three Z palettes right here, just to make them a little bit more compact. These are actually my Anastasia brow powders right here. I just keep them in here. And I don't have all of them because some of them did break on me. <laughs> but I do have these colors right here. They all came in the Anastasia Pro Brow Book. And I just depotted them and put them into here. Then I have this guy right here. This is all my shimmer shadows. This is honestly kind of just like a variety of shimmer eyeshadows. If you guys have not checked out my video about me going through my whole entire magnetic palette for all the shadows, then I will be linking all of the shadows that I had in that video. These are all my matte shadows. These are mainly like the warm tone neutral kind of colors that I carry. Um, I'm a really warm tone kind of person, so that's the colors that I'll probably gravitate toward when I put them on my clients. These are what those look like, and again, I made all these myself. I absolutely love this palette. I believe that you can never have enough matte colors. <laughs> And this is just the neutral mattes, I think. I think that's what it's called. And again, it looks like this. Really solid matte range. And then I do carry all my loose things in here for eyeshadows. So I carry three colors of the P. Louise bases. I carry the shades Rumor, 0. 0.5, 2, and 4. And then I also have the eyeshadow base right here. This is the Pretty Vulgar eyeshadow base. I got this in a BoxyCharm. It's completely clear. So in case I feel like I need to have like a thinner eyeshadow base, maybe on like more mature skin or anything, then I go in with this one instead of the P. Louise bases because they are pretty thick. Then I also carry three like liquid kind of shadows. This one is the Urban Decay Glitter Liner. It's in the shade Midnight Cowboy. Then I have this one right here, which is in the shade Beam Time, and this is the MAC Dazzle Liquid Shadow. Then I have this guy right here. This is one of my favorites. It's the Stila Kitten Liquid Shadow here in the Glitter and Glow collection. I also have Kitten in the actual eyeshadow form too. This is the only single eyeshadow that I carry, not in a palette. I've been trying to figure out how to depot this, but it's honestly been kind of difficult. Then I do have this Dior palette right here. I love this palette so much. This bronze shade in here is to die for. Like, this color in the middle is so, so pretty. It's called the Universal Neutrals palette. That's what this one's called. I want to collect more Dior palettes because I think they're absolutely gorgeous. Then I have a little 
section of Charlotte Tilbury quads here. These are what these are called here. As you guys can tell, I really love my warm tone colors, but I do need a cool tone palette as well. So this is the Rock Chick right here, all gray neutrals. Then I have this one right here. This is Pillow Talk. And again, I did haul all these in a Charlotte Tilbury haul here. Just really good basic neutrals. Then this one is the Vintage Vamp palette. And this one is one of my favorites because obviously it's very warm toned. Then all of these right here are my loose pigments. And you guys have probably seen these before. But I do carry four of them with me. Again, they're all neutrals because I mainly work on brides. This is the Anastasia Loose Pigment. This is in the shade Sand. Really gorgeous color. This one's pretty similar. It's MAC Tan. Then I have Anastasia Crystal. Really light and sparkly. And then I have this one, which is a limited edition matte color, which I really wish they would make this permanent. It's in the shade English Gilt. It's a really, really pretty dark taupey color. So I do have those. And then moving over to this section here, this is all my Face Atelier foundations. I do want to expand my shade range a little bit more, but these are all really, really amazing foundations. They look like this. And what's really unique about these is they have color mixers and they also are silicone based instead of water or oil based. So they will actually hang on to the skin a lot longer. They're very long wearing and I love using these on brides. And I do have the shades 0, 1, 6, 4, 8, um, 12, and those are the normal shade ranges. And then I also do have Heat and Blaze. And then they look like this and they're just yellow and red color adjusters. I also want to get the shade 10 as well and um, I haven't gotten that yet. Then I also have this guy right here. This is the only liquid highlighter that I have. This is the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops and this is in the shade Sunlight. And these are all my little compact powders right here. So this is the um, Nabla Cosmetics Skin Bronzing Shade and this is in the shade Soft Revenge. It's a really cool neutral kind of color and I really like this one a lot. Then I have this one, which I think that probably is about gone because obviously you can see that I hit pan in it. <laughs> um, this is my Sweet Tea Bronzer and this is by Too Faced. Then I have this one right here and this is the Champagne Pop Shade by Becca. One of the shimmering skin perfectors and Becca is actually going out of business and I'm really, really sad about it. So if you guys have not picked up Champagne Pop, do so because I think they go out of business in like September this year. And then this is the MAC Soft and Gentle Highlighter. Classic bridal staple. It's an amazing highlighter. I've had several different refills of this by now. Then I have this one here. This is the Bobbi Brown Highlighter, and this is in the shade Pink Glow. Such a beautiful color. If you guys have not tried Bobbi Brown Highlighters, they are amazing. It just kind of looks like a wet kind of highlighter on the skin. It's not chunky at all. I love it. Then moving on to this section right here, because this is kind of more of the compacts kind of, I have one shade of the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Filter Powder, or Flawless Finish Powder, I think it's Flawless Finish. <laughs> um, this is in the shade Fair, and I did run out of the other two shades that I had in this because I really like this powder a lot and I have to refill these. So sorry I don't have the other shades, but I usually did keep medium and dark as well. Dark's a really good contour color, by the way, if you guys are looking for a good bronzer. Then I do have this guy. I don't use it super often. I got it with the intentions of using it as a body highlighter. This is the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. It's the illuminating one. So it does have quite a bit of like loose, chunky sparkles in it. Again, wanted to use this for body highlighting, but really haven't gotten much use out of it yet. Then this at the bottom is the brow soap that I use. I don't use a standard brow gel for people, although I'm probably going to honestly switch to that because this kind of gets really cumbersome after a while. Brow soaps are really nice if you really want the brows the same place, especially if somebody has really long brow hairs. But again, probably will be switching back to a brow gel because it's kind of inconvenient after a while. Then these two over here are my contouring products, sort of. <laughs> Um, I keep this in a Makeup Forever tin. All of these are from the Alamar Cosmetic Blush Trios, and I do have, like, a variety of them. Then all of these are the Anastasia Contour Powders here, so I do have those for lighter skin tones. And then these are the MAC Contour Powders. These are the only ones from MAC that I have, again, for medium to deep skin tones. This is a really, really good shade, by the way. I think it's in the shade Shadester. And then this one is in the shade... Oh, no, this one's Shadester. Sorry. And then this one is in the shade Definitive. And then, because this is really random, <laughs> I didn't know where else to put these. These are the false lashes that I carry around. I carry them in these view set containers because you just basically cut these down. And you can stick like a million and one lashes in these containers. Like, they're so handy to have. So I have different styles in different sections. And then I also do have these 
individual glue pods right here. They're by the brand Tati Lashes, and they're individual glue pods, and I stick these in my bridal touch-up kits, but I usually just keep extras just in case I need them on hand. Then the last things I wanted to go over are these little containers right here. So these are my spray powder containers, and they hold four different loose powders that I have. So I have this one. This is my only Laura Mercier powder that I have, but I am probably going to switch over all of my powders to the Laura Mercier ones because I really, really enjoy the formula of them. This is for my deeper skin women. This is the medium to deep translucent powder. Then I also have these three right here, and these are the Huda Beauty powders. So I have the shade Blondie right here. Then I have the shade Sugar Cookie. And then this one is Pound Cake. Again, I probably will be switching them all to the Laura Mercier powders because the Huda Beauty ones do have a little bit of a scent to them, and I just don't want to irritate any of my clients that do have some sort of scent allergies or anything or sensitivities. I just wanted to make sure I have powders that suit everybody, so I probably will end up switching these over here, but for right now, I do enjoy the Huda Beauty powders in case anybody was wondering about those. I think that's it for like the main kit. All right, as far as the little accessories or extra things that I carry along with me, I usually have this Makeup Forever pouch right here. I get a ton of questions about this as well. This is the Makeup Forever Danny's pouch. You can actually just flip them like this. People think they're individual canisters, but I just usually prop these up like this. Then I usually use one side for my trash can, so I use those disposable doggy bags, and then I put one in here for a trash can just so I can throw all my trash into it and don't have to dirty up space in my area. And then I use one side for dirty brushes, and then I, at the end of each application, I take the dirty brushes out of here and put them in that little mesh pouch that I have in my makeup kit. So it becomes very handy. Then I have this for my brush belt. I usually only use my brush belt when I can successfully get through all the applications without having to clean them. I'm trying to be a little bit more sanitary so spot cleaning is not really an option anymore for me. The thing that I really like about this brush belt that I've mentioned a couple of different times is that I really like the fact that it zips all the way around. So like this whole entire thing, you close it and then it zips all the way around. So you're not having brushes just like thrown all over the place. They're not spilling out of your brush belt. You can kind of just shove everything in there, zip it up, and just carry it away. This thing has literally been with me since I started my freelancing career. It's literally been the most durable brush belt ever. I haven't had any problems with the zipper or anything. Holds a ton of brushes inside of it. I won't be going through every single brush in here because obviously that's a lot, <laughs> but these are all my face brushes. I keep these on one side, and then I keep all my eye brushes on the other side. This is the spatula that came with that stainless steel palette that I had in my main kit little double-ended spatula has a pointy side and a flat side there and I usually keep that in the little top compartment here I usually have cuticle scissors with me and this is basically just good for cutting lashes I like to have mini scissors instead of having full-size ones I've also loaned this out to people before to cut tags off dresses and everything and sometimes forget it <laughs> and I've had to replace these a couple of different times because I've left them at multiple different places now then this one you can't really see but I do have lash glue in here <laughs> So this is my favorite lash glue. This is the Kiss Ello Lash Glue. This is literally by far my favorite lash adhesive. It's super, super waterproof, and I love it a lot for my brides. It dries down really quickly. I hate the Duo Glue, by the way, if you guys ask my opinion about it. Like, that stuff dries so, so slow, and I can't deal with it, and it doesn't adhere very well. So Kiss Lash Glue is definitely where it's at. Then I also have this guy here. Gotten a couple questions about it. This is my Tarte Lash Applicator here. I also love the fact that it's gold, <laughs> but that's besides the point. I mean, I love the fact that it does actually have curves right here, so you can actually go up to somebody's lashes and kind of pinch them together if you need to without looking like you're stabbing somebody's eyeball out. I don't like regular tweezers because I always feel like I'm going to be poking somebody's eye or something with them, so I like the fact that these are really rounded and everything, so they're a little bit more safe to be around the eye area. Then the only other thing I carry in this pouch is my business cards. This one actually does have a specific pocket for this. And all my business cards fit right in here perfectly, which is really, really handy. And again, if you guys wanted to see my individual brush pouches and I guess just how I pack for weddings and everything, I do have multiple different videos up on my channel now for those. Um, yeah, I think that the only thing that I usually carry with me now is my Glamcore light. Okay, not sure how well you guys can see this, but this is my Glamcore Multimedia X lighting system here. It comes in a big bag like this, and it just looks like this when you unpack it. A whole bunch of stuff is in here, so it comes with the stand, obviously. 
it's just like a um, triangle stand. And then you have the lighting system that's right here, has little protectors for it just in case. Um, and then the whole entire lighting system looks like this. So it has like little LED lights built into it and everything. Um, also, I will tell you guys, this is a very pricey lighting system, but overall it is very handy to have a lighting system with you because you never know the lighting situation you're going to get into. And it does also go warm and cool depending on if you have to counteract other lighting around you. So I really like that a lot. Then this is all the charging cables. Oh, and I will also be putting like a picture of this somewhere, like maybe over here or something, so you guys can see what it looks like all set up. But right now it's kind of a lot to try to set up, so I'm going to just stick this back in the bag here. Okay, everyone, that is it for this video. Hopefully you guys stayed till the very, very end. I know this was a very lengthy video, so thank you so much if you guys stuck all the way to the very end of the video. If you guys did stay all the way to the end, definitely go ahead and give me a big thumbs up on the video as well as also hitting that subscribe button if you guys have not already. I upload a ton of makeup artist related content on this channel, so if you guys haven't, please do so. Also, I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I will definitely talk to you guys in my next video. All right, bye.